So today guys, I'm gonna be cooking two amazing summery dishes. One is gonna be a bucantini pasta with a beautiful tuna loin here, tomatoes, fresh herbs, garlic, Spanish onion, some capers. And the second dish I'm gonna cook is actually a fillet on a bed of ox heart tomatoes. So first what you wanna do is get your fillet, you get this pan nice and hot. You wanna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on there. So while that's heating up, I'm just gonna steal a bit of oil from here. that back on there and then I'm going to put a bit of lemon zest and then I'm going to put some orange zest so it's really some nice citrusy summery spring flavors okay then on goes your loin that's exactly the sound you want to hear nice little sizzle and just remember Tuna is like gold of the ocean. You really don't want to overcook this fish. Keep it tender, it should be super pink in the middle, and all you're doing is having a nice little thin layer of crispy skin on the front. As you can see, that lemon and orange zest is really getting stuck onto that skin, and that's exactly what we want. Just baking in there. And that's it, that's all you need. So you let that, put that aside to rest, and then, we're going to start our saute. So you just want to chop up some thin garlic, Spanish onions. Okay, now you want to add some chili, not too much, just some, again, a little subtle kick on the end of it. Okay, next what you want to do is add some cherry tomatoes in there. I've got two beautiful colours here, yellow and red. So let's get some parsley going. Capers, just a little pinch. to now deglaze with some white wine. Some Pinot Grigio is really good to use for deglazing. You don't want to be putting fruity wine in when you're deglazing. Basically, it will overpower all the flavors that you've achieved. While that's doing its thing, I'm gonna put the pasta on. So we're using Bucatini. This is a, like a spaghetti, but it's got a hollow tube. That's really gonna saturate all the flavors in the middle on the outside. Perfect pasta for this dish. I never break my pasta, by the way. You should never do that. Keep it whole. Let it bend into the pot. All right, so now the pasta is fully boiled. It's perfectly done al dente. I'm gonna strain it, and then we're gonna mix it through the saute and add the fillet of uh, tuna in there as well. Tuna gets tossed in there. And that's pretty much it, folks. Now we plate up. There you have it, guys. Bucatini pasta with fresh yellowfin tuna caught here in Cape Town. Doesn't get any better than that. Our next dish is gonna be a tuna fillet cooked over a bed of ox heart tomatoes. And we're gonna do a basically a Mediterranean salad. It's gonna be amazing. While that's heating up, I'm gonna do my bed of Mediterranean salad. It's basically gonna sit on a nice, beautiful bed of tomatoes. On goes the pan, on goes the heat. Two nice big slabs. Okay, so about 30 seconds on that side, obviously it's a, a bit of a thicker fillet, so we do have to cook it through a bit more, and then another 30 on the other side. There we go. Beautiful belly loin. Should be perfect. I'm just gonna set that aside. So good, so good. And now we're gonna work on our salad. Red onion, Spanish onion. Then we're gonna go some more capers. Artichoke hearts, let's break them up in there, beautiful. I'm gonna put some olive tapenade, this is really just olive oil and anchovy, blend it up. Put some fresh parsley. So two amazing dishes that I've cooked here. One is a bucatini pasta with yellowfin loin and pan grattato, and the other one is a tuna fillet done with a Mediterranean-style salad. And I've got to tell you guys, it was an unbelievable experience.
experience coming out to Cape Town and catching these ginormous yellowfin tuna and being able to create something like this for friends has just topped it off. Yeah.